Okay, so here is my lip collection. Over here is an empty box. I'm going to put things in that I'm decluttering. Over there is a bag that I'll be using for garbage. Oh no, Jackie. Look out, Jack. Good boy. Um, <laughs> all this lip stuff, I want to have at least half of it gone, which I don't think is going to be a big problem. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so I have this box to put stuff in that I'm going to declutter. I'm going to start first by just throwing these nails in there. My daughter likes the long nails, so I'm going to um, be giving those to her. Now let's see. Let's see what we got here. Okay, this is old. This is so old, I don't remember when I got it. I know it was from Ipsy. I did use quite a bit of it. It's very messy. Um, I'm going to declutter this because it's too old. I wouldn't even give it to somebody. It's that old. So that's going to go in the garbage bag. Okay. Next, uh, doing the pallets first before my battery runs out. <laughs> I do have this whoops ish one that's fairly new. I got it from... Fab Fit Fun, and the colors are nice and mixable, and I like this makeup brand, so I'll be keeping that. Then there's this Pixie lip kit. It doesn't smell right. It's old. I didn't really use it enough, but it's going to go in the garbage. So, so far, just keeping one palette. Now, Lipstick wise, I'm gonna move this out of the way and move this closer. <sighs> Let's face it, guys, we're not wearing a lot of lipstick these days, not with masks. So I finally am gonna get rid of my old lipsticks. Um, my oldest ones, and it's hard for me but they're so old that I really shouldn't be using them any longer um, not that obviously that's not one of them take well I don't like Mac so that's gonna go um, and that's it I guess I feel like I have more of these somewhere but I don't know where shoot um, I'm sure I'll come up with them from somewhere Anyway, um, I don't like this MAC lipstick. I've never liked it. I'm going to declutter this. I, I think I used it one time. It came in a box. Otherwise, I wouldn't have MAC in my home. So that's going to go. I have um, two lipsticks that I absolutely adore. I think I already threw away some of these um, Max Factor ones. These are so old that I don't even think they make these colors anymore. Um, my favorite color was 1215. It's like a purpley pink color. It's the only purple lipstick I ever had that actually suited me. <laughs> it's because it looks more pink than purple, but this has to go in the trash. Okay, um, these, this is 1215. Oh, it's another one. <laughs> I have the same color. Obviously, I really liked it. And again, I have this. Um, this was the last lipstick. I'm not going to be swatching very much at all in this video. Um, but this is old and it's beautiful. It has a slight shimmer to it. It is color 1920. I don't even think that they make this color anymore and I wouldn't buy it anyway because unfortunately Max Factor sells in China. Therefore, it's not cruelty free. Oh my goodness. I have a lot of lipstick here that um, <sighs> that is really old. Uh, I think all of my Elizabeth Ardens have to go because they are old. Elizabeth Arden, Elizabeth Arden. Uh, maybe not getting rid of that one. Um, Yeah, I think that's it on my Elizabeth Ardens. Okay. 
So I have really beautiful colors in the Elizabeth Arden line. This one is in Petal. I don't really wear this color lipstick and it's too old for me to pass on. It's like really, really old. So, um, you know, all the tubes that are black um, are tubes that I got long ago and I can't pass that on to anybody. Um, this one is called Red Diamond. I really do like this color. It's like a corally red, but again, I kind of made a, a deal with myself that I would get rid of my oldest lipsticks. This is Elizabeth Arden also. Let's see what color you are first. Pink Pucker. And this was really pretty on. It's kind of a nude look, nude uh, color, but it's old. Very, very, very old. Now these are newer. Okay, uh, I accidentally left that in the other room, so I'm going to um, look at that. I believe I'm going to keep it because I haven't tried it yet. These in the color Rome. Um, there was one that's wrapped uh, still in the shrink wrap, so I'm going to keep that in that shrink wrap. And I have two others. It's kind of a sheer lip color. I'm going to roll it all the way up so I can take a good close look at it and it looks fine and it smells fine and you can see this is one I've used already quite a bit and here's its partner also in the color room yeah and this one's almost gone I should really pan this one yeah I think I'll maybe not <laughs> Okay, a bunch of lipstick fell out of the back here. You know what? I'm going to have to find a better way. Okay. Don't fall over. Okay, so I only have a few lipsticks in there right now that I'm keeping. Um, you know, I should really put these in there too, but not yet. Um, and this is what I have left. This is really not bad. Okay, this is a Wet n Wild, and a, it's a mess. It's not a good lipstick. Okay, this is a Tarantino one. The packaging is really heavy. It's beautiful, and this is a beautiful color. I want to say that I have to put on the chopping block, though, because I'm not positive about this. So we'll put chopping block over there. This I am not keeping. This is a freaking weird, weird ass color. It's by um, Coastal Scents. Let me make sure it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't, so I'm going to offer that to my daughter. Um, I, I'm going to tell her, don't give me anything back. This is True and Luscious, which is, this is a fairly new lipstick. You can see I haven't even used it yet, and it's a beautiful color. So I'll be keeping that. Oh. Freaking son of a gun. You know what? I am going to have to <laughs> empty this thing out. Let's just empty it out. So keepers are over here. Not a lot left. Um, I have a lot of uh, liquid lipsticks, which are all going to go because I hate li liquid lipstick with a passion. This is a red color by Smashbox. Um, it's not old, but I don't like it, so we'll get rid of that. This is a still sealed Tarte um, lip paint, and I hate this product. It dries my lips out, so that's going to go. Then there's this little bite lipstick, and it's in, oh my god, it's in a color I would never wear. I don't think it's, no, it doesn't smell bad. I, I think I've had it forever, but I'm going to tell my daughter anything that she doesn't like to pass on to her friends. And if nobody wants it, throw it out um, because it's enough already. Okay, so I still have, um, I have minis and giant size. So let's look at these two minis first. 
it's still good. This peachy color turns into an actual color, so um, I do like these, so I'm going to keep those. Uh, I believe I tried this and liked it, but I'm not positive, so where's my chopping block? I think this is the chopping block stuff, so we'll put that on the chopping block. Um, this is um, something I already looked at. It's that color Rome. Okay, then there is this Lipstick Queen weird-ass stuff. I just, I don't like it. Um, no, it's not one of my favorite products. Okay, this is a super light, like, lipstick topper by Ulta. Um, if I have to top a lipstick then I don't need this, the topper. Okay, this little thing is Naked, Naked Body, I think it said. And it smells funny. It's Too Faced, and I got it in a, like a gift with a purchase thing, but seriously, it's gone back and forth between my daughter and I a few times, so that's gonna go. Okay, this I think is my only red that I liked. Ooh, yeah, it's a pinky red. Is that not good, not good anymore? Let me look at it a little more closely. No, it's fine. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about this lipstick, this Milani lipstick, is it's a little bit dry, so you do have to put on um, something before you put that on. Okay, so... All right, these are sheer lip colors from Laura Geller. Um, I think I have three, no. I think I gave one to my daughter already. Um, these are like lip balm. My sniffer's not working so great anymore. <laughs> I don't smell anything bad about that. This one is in the color. It's a cream sheer, by the way. And it's in the color Cherry's Jubilee, and this one is pomegranate, and that's a red for sure, but it, these are sheer colors, so they don't come off as being real red. Okay, I have these two Kevin Aquan lip things that I really like. They do stain your lips. This one is in cashmere, and the other one is in velvet. So I'm going to smell them because they're like lip glosses. Yeah, that smells good. Okay, so there's... The only thing I didn't like about this is it acts like it's a thing that doesn't have a stopper. Um, and then there is this one with that one. This one is velvet. This one is cashmere. And this is beautiful on me. It really doesn't have a stopper. Where the hell did the stopper go? Um, and I do really like this color on. I have to remember that I have these things that I really like. I don't even think I need that lipstick thing anymore. Okay, and this is actually like a sheer bomb. It looks pink in, in this but it's really not. It's like a bomb, um, and it is in the color Celebrate, and it's Julie Hewitt. Okay, well, if I could get these things to stop rolling, my life would be complete. Okay, then I have this one from... And this is the color Envy, but who is this from? Oh, Belle Pierre. And it's, it looks wrong all along the top there. It's got bloom garbage. Um, see, we haven't been wearing lipstick for the longest time. This I do like. This is Cargo, and it looks like it's still good. It's like a nude color, but not so nude that it makes me look like The Walking Dead. And then there is this Bare Minerals. Oh, my battery's dying. And this is beautiful. It still smells good, and yeah. I like that. I never liked these lip stains. This is, so this is a different one. This is by Clarins. I had one by Stila and it 
strangely enough, dried my lips out, but I haven't tried this yet, so huh, that should go on the shopping block along with the other stuff I haven't tried. This YSL, I think I tried it one time, and it's matte lip stain. I have put that on the chopping block. Um, this here, my daughter and I both have this color, is from Smashbox. Haven't tried it yet, chopping block. Um, and this one is still sealed. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I broke the seal on the thing itself. Yeah, that's definitely a chopping block item. It is Ulta Butter Bomb, which is really nice stuff, by the way. And uh, I have a lippy stick here. These, for some reason, go bad pretty fast, and this one has gone bad. It smells really bad, but it's also very old, so... Okay, so chopping block. I need like a separate container for chopping block. I'll be right back and I, so I can go change my battery as well. Okay, I've already used this. I re really like it. The pencil matches. It's awesome. <laughs> I did try many things and did like them. So I have this lip gloss. You know, let's empty this. I've been trying things along the way and putting them in a separate container when I find that I really do like them. Um, this is the Lip Gloss Michael by e.l.f. And it smells wrong. Darn. See, <laughs> even when I tested it and liked it, who knows how many months ago that was. Um, I'm going to move you in a little bit. Okay. All right, so... Then there is this color, Luna. Um, it's Luna Cosmetics, and it's color Tita Titania. Yeah, I tried it, and I really did like it, so I'm just going to keep keep it where I have it, right here. Okay, this I did try and really liked, but like I said, sometimes crayons go bad pretty quick. Oh, this is fine. It's fairly new, and it came in a beauty box, so I did like that. Oh, here's one of the old lipsticks that has to go bye-bye. This is in the color uh, 1850, and it is Max Factor. You can see I was trying to pan it a while ago. It's a beautiful, shimmery bronze color, but I just can't, I can't keep it. Um, it's literally about 20 years old. Okay, this is Pixie by Petra. How do I get this off? Oh, you just pull it. I did try this. It's a bomb, and it's very nice, so we'll be keeping that. This is by Smashbox, and it is copper is the color. I smell you. Still smells good, and I know I tried this and liked it, so we'll keep that. I did like this liquid catsuit. I'm not sure about it though now. Um, I'm gonna put that in the shopping block along with its partner. I did try them and liked them, but yeah, not not enough to. Um, just like put it in the yes list. Now this here was passed to me from my daughter. It's really a beautiful color and it smells good so I'm going to keep that. This is from Beauty Bakery and it's Lip Brulee and I did really like this when I tried it. It's a very pinky pink color but it doesn't look pinky pink on because it's kind of sheer. This is from Ofra, and it's Lip Gloss and Pink Panther. I know I just got this recently, so I'm not going to even open it again. Um, this I just got um, recently, and it's also from... Yep, it's also a lip crayon from Floss. It might even be the same color as this one. Nope, Proof, and this one is... Your Honor. 
don't need that box anymore. Um, then I tr did try these. These are sheer and very hard to get out of the out of the boxes. Okay, so um, they're very sheer lip colors. They're really beautiful on, and this is looks real red, but it's not. It smells wonderful because I know it's it's fairly new, and this is called Love Me, and this one is called Call Me. Mm -hmm. I like the Call Me one the best. Now, since I already tried these and I know I like them in their lipsticks, I will put them with the lipsticks. Okay, my battery's dying again. You know, I'm trying really hard to get this done, and it's really hard. I'm only halfway through my stuff right now. Okay, so let's go in here. I'll do Tatcha last. This is fairly new. You know what? <laughs> this, These are like lip balm type things. Um, this is Lip Serum by Blistex. I don't, I, I've been very lucky. I've never gotten a fever sore, but um, I'm trying to keep all of my lip stuff in like lip um, moisturizers. This one, this is conditioning lip treatment. Um, this is another lip treatment, but I think it's an overnight. This is Balm de Rose. Never could understand why people went insane over that. Then there's that. And I have a Lancer one. A lot of this came, came in beauty boxes. Um, these are lip oils. I can save those. A, uh, a couple other lip moisturizing type things. Glossier. What is this stuff? Rosebomb.com. I'm going to put that in the chopping block. Um, this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Shoot. Yeah, I know it's a teeny tiny thing. Um, let's put, rather than just tuck it in the drawer again to, you know, die another day, we'll uh, go ahead and Oh, these came out of my main uh, drawer, <laughs> and I do love this. I do need to buy a new one, and I will. This is Pixie Sheer Rose, it's called. I love it. I love it, and it's no good anymore. <laughs> um, so I'll just have to remember Pixie Sheer Rose. It's one of my favorites. Okay, this is a stick with a broken cap. This is from uh, Marinesse. Still smells really good. I'm going to hold on to that. And this is... This is older, but it's... um. I don't know. This one is Angel Kiss, the Marinesse one, and this Ulta one, uh, the lettering is worn off, but I believe it's Sugar Cookie or something like that. I do really like these. They're going to go in the lipstick tower. Oh, this just came out of my drawer. It's been laying in there for a while. Smells a little bit like skunk, so trust fun beauty. I'm sorry I didn't use you up faster. It has to go in the trash. Anything that smells like skunk is not a good thing. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, moving on to this box of joy. Um <laughs> do that out. I believe these were things I was gonna try. Oh, I did try this, and I did like it. It's Tokyo Milk, and it is uh, Margot Elena, but it's a sheer gloss. I need to have a place where I put sheer glosses, but anyway, I already know I like that. Okay, this is Lip Scrub from Wish. I've never even opened the box. That actually belongs in the box with, like, other lip treatment type stuff. Uh... Lip oil, that has to go in there. <laughs> uh, and I believe this is the other scrub that I have. Um, 
yeah, I don't need the box any longer, so we could get rid of that. It's fresh sugar and lemon lip scrub, so that'll go in there also. This, what is this? Bubble gum. My daughter gave me this. I'm going to give it back to her. She can decide what she wants to do. This is um, a lip scrub from, uh, yeah, that's good. Lip Revival, and it is from Beauty For Real. I did like that. Um, I tried it one time. Okay, I have a couple other things. This, I think, is really old. It's Chapstick Lip Scrub. Yeah, you can see I did use this quite a bit, um, but it's, it's just no good any longer. Okay, this is by Yensa, and it is super... Eight lip oil, so that'll go. Whoops, behind the cedar chest. <laughs> I'll have to get it off the floor. Um, okay, let's see what else do I have here. I have these um, Emil Cordon. The boxes are coming apart, so I guess I can get rid of those. Except the little spatula is in the box. It makes it harder later. But I'm gonna check this and make sure. Whoops, I just broke the seal. Mm, it smells beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, I have one in my um, end table that I use every night. This is Ulta Sugar Lip Scrub. I don't think this is that old. But it looks... No, it feels nice. Okay, we'll keep that. Alright, now... This is another Emil Cordon. These are meant to be used as, like... Um, like lipstick. This one is Madison Queen. Yeah. These are going to go on the chopping block. I've never been felt very committed to the, these as lipstick. I'll save the spatula in there. I know there's another spatula somewhere. There it is. We'll save it in there. And this is a really beautiful color, so I'm thinking I might like this one better. Mm, yeah, and it smells good. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the chopping block box and get rid of these boxes. Okay. And this got away from me. Hanalee Lip Scrub. It's so old. I should just toss it out. Um, I think it's the first lip scrub that I ever had. Um, so, yeah. This is... Definitely going to stay. Okay, so now I have a bunch of stuff that's not lip gloss. Um, this is lip icing. Ah, friggin' son of a gun. I have to wreck the box. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, this I will swatch <laughs> as my battery decides that it might die. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, that's... I don't know that you can see it, but it's a nice nude color. Um, this one is Violet Voss, and it's lip gloss. I think it's just a plain lip gloss. Let's get you out of here. Yeah, I don't think it comes off gold on... Um, the first Violet Voss lip product I've ever owned. Oh, it smells delicious and it looks really nice. So we're gonna go go ahead and decide that one is okay. Um, then there, because these things are pretty new. Oh, this is another one of those um, floss. Is it floss? Yep another one of the floss lip things. Um, it's pink, white on pink, so I don't know what color it is, but I already know I like that. Okay, this is old. This ColourPop lip stuff. It's not my color. It's something my daughter gave me, and it looks wrong. It looks like it's no good anymore. And there's La Ritzy. I've had this forever. Oh, God. And this is a color I would never, ever wear. 
never ever I'll offer that to my daughter either she or her friends might like it this is from Manica Dar and this is lipless moisturizing lip mask well we'll get rid of the box and we'll put that in with the other stuff and this I bought can you guess why Hello Kitty um because it was in a Hello Kitty box um <laughs> I, w I went a little bit insane when I think it was my second um, COVID shot. You know, you have to stay in the store for 15 or 20 minutes to make sure you don't have a reaction. Of course I didn't, but this is um, by The Creme Shop, which is a cruelty-free brand. And this is the color. It's kind of like a deep red. Oh, it's actually, it looks deep red, but it's actually pink. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be that color, but I'll, you know what, I'm going to put it in the chopping block. I might pass it on if, you know, I'll put it back in the box. I may pass this on to my daughter. She might like it better, but I have to try it before I know whether I'm going to like it or not. Okay, that's about half of the stuff, or a little bit more than half of the stuff. So, um, the battery, it looks like it's going to hold, so... My back is killing me from doing this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dump this out. This is mostly lippy sticks. There are a few things in here I know I like. Um, this Grande Lips, I know I like this. Let's just make sure it smells okay still. Yeah. It just smells like whatever the stuff is that they put in there to make your lips get swollen. <laughs> Um, and this, I know I like this. This is from, oh, there it is. Nude Sticks. Love this. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I just don't want to forget about it from here on. Um, Visanti Matte. Um, like I said, I'm not sure about the matte things, but this, I think I tried and liked, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to put that in the chopping block. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's going to be the next thing in the chopping block. Okay, this is old, but it's beautiful. Do you smell bad? Nope. This seems to be still okay. I know I like this. This is a NARS lipstick. It smells like a skunk, so I cannot believe it went bad. Um, in an airtight drawer with, uh, here's the other NARS stick. Yeah, it smells bad. I got both of these as part of like the Sephora birthday gift a couple of years ago. Yeah, it just goes to show they don't last for very long. This is LA Splash Lip Liner, I believe. Yeah. It shouldn't really be in here. Um, I think I put it in there because it was a new thing. Okay, and let's push the slippy sticks back a little because I know most of them are going to be no good. This here is from Tristique. And I do really like that and it still smells good. And here's the other one. Okay, watch this. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> yeah, and I just wrecked it. <laughs> anyway, it's got a magnet in it. This I've used many times. Gave it to my daughter. She gave it back to me, and it's no good anymore. <laughs> it's one of those natural products from Noya, um, and it's just no good any longer. Okay, this NYX soft matte. I'm going to try this because I love NYX lip stuff and I might like that one. Okay, this looks all separated. And it's like no name. It's all separated. That's going to just go. Okay. Now, this is Twisted Lipstick by Cora's. Oh, it really doesn't look right. It's got like a ring of 
decolor discoloration there that could be the beginning of mold. Oh, uh, this is so old. Um, this is be a bombshell. It's not this bright on. Well, I guess it is. It smells wrong, but that's the color. Perfect for summertime. Okay, this is Monica Dar, and this is not old. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't look bad. It still looks good. So we are going to keep you, baby. Okay. I had a bunch of these um, Ulta ones go bad on me. So we'll do those last. This is Maelli, and it's Clearly Brilliant Tinted Lips. So this is like a lip balm. And it smells fine. And it, it'll be fine. Okay. Down to the Ulta Lippy Sticks. All right, this is in, um, it's Ulta Lip Color in Daredevil. Oh shoot, that was hard to get off. That smells wrong. Um, this one is, what color are you? Looks like one of my favorites. Yep, it is. This is one of my favorites. I had three of these and I had to throw a couple of them out. This is in Sugar and Spice. Oh, my nose is starting to not smell anymore. Yeah, there's no, no smell to that, so it hasn't gone bad yet. It doesn't smell like anything, which is what you want. This looks wrong. This looks wrong just from the outset. This is in the color Chai, and it's something you use more as a lip topper, but it doesn't, doesn't look right, so I'm going to get rid of that. And this one is in, what color are you? Fashionista. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. This is like a pinky nude color. Okay, so far, so good. All right, let's see what we got here. What's left is this bin and this Tatcha. We've gone through so much stuff, so much. And I'm gonna be putting this back in my office slash beauty room slash craft room, um, but it'll be full of the lipsticks, which I will put in this box. I've only kept about half of my lipsticks. Um, you know, looking at the da damage over there, um, it does look like I've only kept about half, so. Okay, this needs to find a new home, but it's a new thing, so I like it. <laughs> yeah. Now this Tatcha lipstick, it's Kyoto Red. Um, I'm gonna, I've, you know, I've never had a Tatcha item and I know I'm not trying to be like ostentatious or anything. This came in a beauty box and I feel like I should try it. It's in a nice heavy container. It's a really red color, but I, I do want to give that a try. So that leaves this and this has a lot of stuff in it I like. Um, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I love these uh, butter glosses. So I'm going to keep all of them. Um, what is this? Paw Paw. This is a lip balm. This doesn't belong in here. Oh, it's a colored lip balm. Oh, it's a really pretty color. That's it right there that I just smeared all over on purpose. <laughs> um, I wanted to see how sheer it, how it shears out, and it does shear out pretty nicely. I think I'm going to keep this with my lipsticks because it's more like lipstick. Let me go wipe my hands. I'll be right back. Now, I just decluttered the other one of this. It, this was about the same age. I'm going to let it go because if it hasn't gone bad yet, it will be going bad soon. Okay, this is from Manicador. Oh, I kept it in the box because it's my favorite lip 
color from Manicadar, and I wanted to make sure to use the one that I have open already. It's in the color Lucky. This was in a lot of people's boxes and things for a while. I'm going to keep the newest one that's unopened in the box, and we'll give that a try another time. Okay, Laura Geller Color Drench. Smells like cake. Color Drench Lip Gloss. Um, chopping Block. <laughs> we'll Chopping Block that one. Okay, this is that Stila um, lip stuff I told you I hate. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and offer it to my daughter. This is, I don't like this. This is Pixie Brilliance Balm. I've never liked it. It's a tinted balm, but it's it's never suited me, and it's old. I don't want to offer that to somebody and have it be, you know, like offer it to my daughter and have it be bad already. Okay, this is actually empty. <laughs> yeah, you take the brush out and nothing comes out. You know, you... You've used most of it. Okay, this is Ulta Nourishing Lip Color. Okay. And that looks good. Okay. Um, this is, oh, this is so old. Oh, and it smells wrong. This is a naked lip gloss that I really, really loved. It came with a palette that I got a long time ago that's since been decluttered. And this is just be beautiful on, but it's no good any longer. Okay, this is a powder and it has turned into like a log in the bottom. This is Klee um, lip color. It's a powder thing and I did like this when I tried it, but it's turned into a little lump of crap down there. So that's gonna go into the garbage. Okay, this is an e.l.f. Glossy Gloss, and I did like this very much, very, very much, so I'm going to keep that. This is Love Lights. Um, it's got some kind of a flashlight in it. Uh, you flick the little switch. Uh, it's, it's too shiny for me, so I'm going to offer it to my daughter. Um, it's just, if it was anything but a shimmer, I probably would be okay with that. It actually looks less shimmery on, but I'm going to offer that to my daughter. She might like that more than I certainly um, don't like it because of the shimmer. It's just too, too much shimmer. Okay, and this looks separated. Yeah, this is separated already. Um, this is by Lip Love. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's so separated that it won't even come out on the doe foot. So that has to go. Okay, well that was a pretty good Everything will fit in one of these instead of two of them now, um, uh, which is really good. That's like half of what we uh, got rid of, um, or rather kept. Um, so let's see what I have decluttered. First thing I decluttered, obviously I'm going to take these nails out, I decluttered uh, three... Four, five, six, seven, wait a minute, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen items in the box for my daughter. So that's thirteen items. Um, and I will let her decide what she wants to keep versus not keep or whatever. And these are the items that are going into the trash. You know, when things are, are, when you have so much, and I, the only reason I have so much is I have a weakness for lipstick, so I sometimes will buy it at the drugstore. 
but I've also gotten a lot of lip products over the years from beauty boxes. So I'm going to count up what this is. I'm thinking I might start a 100 or 500 declutter again because I'm also going to do my closet and my other makeup and stuff. But um, So we already know there's 13 in the box over there. This one for my daughter. And these are all garbage. So I'm going to count these up and I'll tell you what they are in, a, in just a second. Well, I cannot believe it. Not, I counted these as one thing each. Okay. These two with all this is 47 items that have gone bad, gone in the trash or whatever. Um, so 47 plus 13 um, is 50. So I've, I'm getting rid of 60 lip products. That's pretty damn gigantic. Um, plus, I did put quite a few things in the chopping block. So we'll see how those go over the over time and see what happens. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this um, lip declutter. It's, I know, a long one, and so I apologize for that. I'm going to declutter everything that I own, and so you'll see a lot more decluttering going on. Um, very shortly. So stay tuned. I'm going to have more videos for you guys. And just in case I didn't say it already, please make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks and have a beautiful evening. Good night.